What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're doing the top 10 mods that have come out this May. Some of them are updates and improvements on old mods and some of them are completely brand new. And first up today we have the Siege's Weaponries mod. So this basically adds a ton of new weapons including battle axes, long swords, daggers, hatchets, and they come in all forms of the regular weapons. You have wood, stone, gold, all the way up till netherite. And some of these tools are more powerful than the previous ones and some of them are not. They have different attack speeds and different damages, but they're all pretty strong and definitely fun to play around with. It's pretty cool when you have a dagger or a battle axe, and surprisingly enough, the netherite staff is actually one of the most powerful weapons now. And as always, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot of different Minecraft content, and I'm sure you'll enjoy our other stuff. The next mod that we have for you guys is Magma Knight Ore, and this basically adds a new ore to the game, which you can find at bedrock level in the nether, and it is better than netherite. All the tools are stronger and faster, and the armor is much stronger than netherite. These are gonna come at a very hard price though. It is very hard to find the Magma Knight ore, and you're gonna spend a lot of time in the nether trying to find this. So they made it pretty balanced, and you're definitely not gonna get any of this in just a simple day's work. You can actually see here that the Magma Knight sword actually does five more attack damage than the Netherite sword, so it is definitely a huge jump from the previous versions. The pickaxe is also slightly faster, and I did a small comparison here. It's honestly very hard to tell how fast the difference is in between these, but you can kind of notice a small, uh, slightly faster difference with the Magma Knight pickaxe. Is that small difference worth going through all the effort to find it? I'm not really too sure, but it's definitely a good feature to have in the game if you're just trying to find something new to do and accomplish. The armor is definitely worth acquiring though, as you can see here the Magma Knight armor has twice the amount of armor as the actual netherite armor. That only goes for the helmet and the boots, and the chest plate and pants have only slightly better, but it is still definitely worth it, especially for the armor toughness and knockback resistance. You're definitely going to struggle to find any of this, however, I did a lot of TNT mining in the nether, and as you can see here, I found netherite probably about 15 ancient debris in the time I spent looking for this, and I did not find a single one of the Magma Knight blocks. So it's definitely going to take you a long time to find, but it will be worth it in the end to have that armor and those tools. The next mod that we have is the Simple Spells mod, and a few of the notable ones that we have here are the Lightning Spell and the Fireball Spell, which I'll show off right away. And other than that, we have a lot of miscellaneous spells, some for combat, some for uh, increasing your speed, and some for increasing your resistance. So as you can see here, the wind spell, if we go into the menu, it has the jump boost and the speed boost. And unfortunately, I have item zoom on, so it kind of gets in the way of seeing these boosts. And then we have the shield spell, which gives you resistance 3, which is great for combat and just trying to get away from any hostile mobs. These spells all work off of the enchanting system, so basically it will take your experience levels to use these enchantments, but it's not going to take that much, and I did do some tests in survival. It's really not going to be a big deal for your enchantment levels. Definitely a fun mod to play around with, especially being able to shoot fireballs and summon lightning, all with just your enchantment levels. These spells all have cooldowns, however, so you're going to have to spend some time waiting to be able to use the same spell again. The next mod that we have is the Filter Chess mod, and this one is one of my favorite mods to use just because of how convenient it is for filtering out items from things like farms and everything else. So as you can see here, you can put blocks and other items up in the top filter and you can actually blacklist or whitelist these blocks so if I want to keep all these blocks out I'll blacklist them and none of those blocks can go in those chests. If I want those blocks only in these chests then I can whitelist them and I can put them in. This mod also comes with different sizes of chests and as you can see here I'm in an iron chest but there is also a diamond chest, gold chest, small chest, and regular chest. 
This will be a great mod to use if you're trying to filter out items from farms and you're using hoppers and things like that to transport items to each chest. Or if you just want to upgrade your chest storage, you can make diamond chests or gold chests and that gives you a lot of extra room. The next mod that we have for you guys is the tape measure and this is actually one of the best building mods that you can have if you're trying to figure out spaces and how far apart things are this is great all you have to do is right click with the tape measure and it'll give you the exact distance between each block so as you can see the first one was one block by one block and 22 blocks long this one was 16 blocks long and you can even create giant rectangles as well so you can really measure out any type of thing that you want with this and it is super useful especially with the small numbers and you can still build in that entire area the next mod that we have is the any dimension mod and this basically lets you create any dimension in the game just by using whatever blocks and the appropriate staff for that block so as you can see here i'm creating an oak log portal and if i go inside i'm going to find a complete oak log biome so this is just going to be filled with oak and as you can see there's some gas and some endermen so it's not going to be the safest biome to go to but it does have a lot of wood if you're in need of that you can really use any block in the game so if you want to go to an iron dimension all you have to do is use some iron blocks or some iron ore blocks and go to those dimensions one thing that you need to really be careful though however is the TNT in these dimensions. The TNT is easily set off just by touching it or walking on it so you're definitely going to want to avoid that because it will kill you and the mobs can set it off as well. Next up we have the Steve Golem mod and the Steve Golem can be tamed with bread and he will follow you around and protect you. This is really just a funny mod and definitely something very fun to use if you're trying to add something uh, interesting to the game. They're also hostile if you attack them and they're very powerful and kill you in about 3 hits so you're going to want to be careful of that. Next up we have Dynamic Trees Plus. You've probably seen the regular Dynamic Trees before but this one adds cactus and saguaros to the desert and the mesa biomes. Very cool blocks and adds some very cool details to your world. One of my favorite mods that has come out recently is the Sandstorm mod and basically what this does is sand just falls from the sky and each day it will get worse and worse but you can speed up or change the amount of sand that's falling with some commands. I can definitely see some very interesting uh, mini games or things like that coming from this mod. It is very fun to use and will definitely ruin anything that you build by covering it in sand very quickly. I believe this is the max settings that you can have for it and as you can see it covers the ground very fast so by the time it speeds up to this in your world it's going to be very unfortunate for you. And for our final mod we have the Eternal Nights mod and as you can see I just spawned into this world and it's already nighttime. That's because it will never be daytime when you're using this mod. So if you're looking for an extra challenge this is a great mod for you because you will never be able to see the light of day while using this. Even if you try to use commands, it's not going to work. It's going to stay nighttime forever. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. We have a lot of other mod content. We cover Hermitcraft, Mega Builds, Starter Houses, absolutely everything Minecraft related. So I'll see you next time. Oh, P.S. All the mod links are in the description down below.